Last time we saw each other was in Dubai. We're on a beautiful beach area. Mm-hmm. Um, you weren't half as, as relaxed as it looks like right now. You were, you're in bed. I think I was ill the last time I spoke to you. Yes. You were. Yes. yes. <laughs> and then I got it about three days later. Was it was it COVID or was it just a cold? It could have been. We just don't didn't know at that time. It, yeah, I think it was just a cold. I remember I got something after you, and then I realized that you were ill. I think you put something up on your social at some stage. I said, "Oh, at least I got it from Robbie didn't Williams." We, didn't we talk about? Didn't we talk about weight as well? We yeah, did man. You got such a good memory. I know you do a lot of interviews, but yeah, we talked about weight and you had um, a nice Versace shirt on. True. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm now, I'm now completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> some may say that's a better option. <laughs> uh, some, some might not. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait, Abu. Um, it's, it's coming. It's, it's all happening here. Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. It is beautiful. This arena is so gorgeous, Robbie. I don't know if you've seen it before. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Are you ready to come back to the UAE to rock Abu Dhabi? Um, I am. I haven't seen the arena actually. Is it? Is it different to other arenas? It's well. Listen, it's sexy. It's new. It's where some of the biggest, obviously, the acts like yourself are performing. The UFC is there as well, which I don't know if you're a UFC fan, but a lot of the fighting happens out there. It's just a beautiful arena. You're really going to love it. Do you know how many people it holds? Um, I, I, I on top of my head, around eighteen thousand. I think yeah. about eighteen thousand. Wow. Do you yeah. know what? It's lovely. It's lovely to still be famous. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you, do you feel that? Like, as in being famous? Do you do you always think, well, I'm still famous after all these years. This is great. I, I, I tell you, I, I joke. It's more still being successful feels incredible. You know, it's mm. not that I, I think that in my line of work, fame is a byproduct of the success and you know not a very healthy byproduct of the success but to still be here as a man that is nearly 50 and getting to play in these beautiful venues singing my songs yeah if it, it does feel good that's awesome man i love we were just talking about it earlier on pretty and rossi and myself about especially you on social media. I love social media when we get to get into the insights of, of certain people, including yourself. There was one recently where you were dancing around. I think the guy was playing the trumpet or the, or the saxophone. Oh, I think it was, it was on a cruise. Yacht. It was on a cruise. Yeah. And I shared that with our Virgin Radio team because I was like, man, this is what life is. You, There was something about that that it, you inspired. You made me happy just watching that. Oh bless you! Yeah, my, my, we were on a we were on a boat. We we'd had some a fancy fancy boat, and then as we were leaving, there was like a five piece band, and they started playing King of the Swingers. And um, my wife filmed it. She put it up on her Instagram, and I think it had like twenty million views or something. Crazy! Huh? It was it, it just that particular bit of footage caught a moment, and. Um, yeah, I, I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, it, that's what I'm with my Instagram. What I'm trying to do is elicit a smile for the mind. So, you know, if that smile for the mind has a destination, then we've achieved our job. Love that. LiveNation.me, grab your tickets. Robbie Williams, the legend, coming back to the UAE, Abu Dhabi, Etihad Arena. He's just woken up. He's having a sip of Evian water. That's the type of water that Robbie drinks. <laughs> Evian, just to let you all know. Um, Rossi, did you want to tell... Well, I just want to... I mean, I think the people of the UAE should know how amazing a Robbie Williams show is. Like, I grew up with my sister. She's a, a massive fan, like a massive, like, stalkerish fan. But she <laughs> she used to go to Manchester to watch you take that in the GMX, right? And she'd come back with these, like, plastic dummies. And I'm like, what, what are you doing? Who is this? What are you doing? And then she slowly introduced me to Robbie Williams <laughs> in our house. And I just... I just... I'd love, like your performance on stage is there's nobody like you performing on stage and right did now. you go to a show on your own i got let down by a date and i went to the milton Keynes bowl on my own yeah yeah i drove <laughs> oh, all the way well first off what a lovely thing to say about me thank you very much and secondly i'm sorry that you got let down by your date <laughs> I, I i i i am a very 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 much a vaudevillian entertainer uh, that uh, and it, it's incredible that there is nobody 
that has taken everything from the 20s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and especially the 80s, and molded it into something that you get on stage and perform like. And I, I, maybe I'm the only one doing it right now, but mm. I'm I'm a I'm an old fashioned entertainer. There's nothing new about this that I'm doing, apart from a few of the swear words, I, I, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it, it, it's I, I feel very very lucky and very blessed to have grown up with all the people that have inspired me, that have led me to do the thing that I do on stage. Well, I didn't even get into swing music until you brought out your album Swing with, When You're Winning. You know, you introduced a whole new era of people to that era as well. Great, great. I'm, uh, yeah, I've, uh, like I say, I've been very fortunate to have been touched by the people that I've been touched to growing up. And then I do, I've sort of repurposed everyone I've ever seen and somehow it comes out as what I do. We can't wait to get you back here to Abu Dhabi. As I said, Etihad Arena, LiveNation.me. Running through some things that you're doing right now, just I want to know more about them. First of all, a lot of drawing, a lot of art. Uh, when did this all begin? Um, this all began actually in 2006. I've been doing art since then. But then it's changed into these little things that I'm calling inklings, which are just images that I draw where, you know, it, it's something to do with mental health. Or it's something to do with, you know, dark humor. Uh, and um, <clears throat> I've been doing these for over two years, but wasn't brave enough to put them up. <laughs> and then uh, about four or five months ago, I, I had a joke that I wanted to put up and I wanted to put it up quickly before somebody else did the joke. So I put up the picture. And it had such a great response that I've been doing it every day ever since. And um, it's like I, I, I now I, I wasn't involved with social media. I now am. And I see it as having my own TV channel that is like five seconds long. <laughs> so I'm doing my own TV show every day that is, yeah, seconds long. And you're also protesting now, especially about roundabouts. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just want to let yeah. you know the UAE, we don't have too many roundabouts, so I yeah. think you'll feel comfortable Good. coming here. Good, yeah, there's, you know, somebody had to say it. Uh, and uh, I I'm glad that there is uh, that much sense in the UAE that, um, <laughs> you know, we don't, we we don't need them. We and we never have. <laughs> Jeffy, if, if the premise of that is uh, yes, there was a picture of uh, Robbie holding up a sign at a roundabout, saying uh, protesting against we don't need any yeah. more roundabout. So I like that. Do you know? Uh, do you know that the, the, uh, actually the scary thing about that is, and of course it would be on social media is. A lot of people think yep. or thought that I was actually protesting <laughs> yep. roundabout. <laughs> yes. Well, the weird part uh, was. Which, which in its way is, is is kind of wonderful, you know, yeah. that there's people out there going, well, no, I'm, I'm pro roundabout. <laughs> but just imagine the person who's driving past in the car, right? And they drive past Robbie Williams yeah. standing on a roundabout. Like, did anyone stop? Well, I was, I was worried about causing a crash. So I actually wasn't there for that long. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, you can imagine the, the sort of, somebody seeing out the corner of their eye a man standing at the roundabout and then realizing it's robbie williams <laughs> and then thinking to themselves that you know it, it they can't have seen that that is that can't have happened but it did for for that moment on that day you said earlier that your instagram is turning into like a tv show every five seconds um a netflix special has just been announced about you as well can you give us more about that more details yeah, um, <clears throat> I love Netflix and wor worked with Ridley Scott's company, Ridley Scott's company and Netflix and my story. And I was worried that it was just going to be another, a another documentary following the same formats that we've seen documentary countless times, you know, me and other talking heads talking about me and blah, blah, blah. I didn't want that, you know, I, and Fortunately, I haven't got that. It's it's like a a break with the format uh, and it's different. And I 
as the person that is the subject of the documentary can't sit here and go it's absolutely <laughs> amazing you should see it uh, but even i with my lack of self-worth can look at it and go right we've done something and it's not rubbish um yeah so we, which which should be the the strap line really robbie williams it's not <laughs> <rubbish>. <laughs> I love um, again the, from the first time that we met a while ago to just seeing everything now. You're just a, you're a good guy, man, and I think that's Thank that's, you. that's one of the reasons why I think the career has continued to go because you just you're just a good guy, and I think good guys always finish uh, first, finish first, first, not last, first. man. I'm telling you, not last. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Um, we'll let you go in a moment here. Uh, live LiveNation.me. Grab your tickets to Etihad Arena. Robbie Williams <laughs> here in the capital. Talking about the the Netflix documentary, one day there may be a movie about you, Robbie Williams. Who do you see playing you right now, actors? Is there anyone that you're like, yeah, that's who I'd want to play me? No, there is. There's a biopic coming out next year. We've what? just filmed it. Wow. Yeah. Who plays you? Michael Gracie, Michael Gracie the director of um, um, The Greatest Showman, has um, directed it. I, I, I will say no more. Oh, no. I, I, I will leave it there, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, what he's managed to do with my story is absolutely genius, but I'll just leave it there. Okay. I, Oh my gosh, wow. I am so excited to be out. I believe, Robbie, your life, as it is like a movie, there will be so many moments. What I do want to ask you, and I don't want you to give away anything of the movie, but that would have meant that you would have had to sit down at some stage and go back all the way and just start thinking of moments in your life. Did you have to do that? Yeah, there is 12 hours of me talking to Michael <sighs> about my life. Wow. So, um, you know, if if... I could do one of those autobiographies that where people just, you know, write it for you because there's 12 hours of me talking about everything that already exists. Um, yes, I did. And, you know, I am Pops Forrest Gump. I was just in the right place at the right time, no. you know, with a with a winning smile. <laughs> and a talent as well. Yeah. yeah. No, a talented man. Oh, well, bless you. Bless you. No, you, you, you know, I, the UK the, is so proud of you. Oh bless you, mate. The 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 amount of just just good fortune and good luck uh, that's been bestowed on me is is something that I'll be forever grateful for. Awesome. Wednesday, the eighteenth of October this year, Etihad Arena is going to be absolutely amazing. Go and see Robbie Williams live. LiveNation.me has your tickets. We're in bed right now with Robbie Williams. I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's actually in bed now. I I would never want anybody to see my bedside table, Robbie Williams. I would not want anyone to see that. Now, <laughs> he's having a look. Are we able to see what's next to the bed? He's, oh, oh he's I'll moving. Just, he's moving. I'll just, I, I'll just move one thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, okay, so here's... What is here, that? Here, there, there is tangerine peel. Yeah. There okay. is... Uh, Magnesium. Okay, oh. good for there the muscles. Yeah, yeah. There is um, <laughs> a, a little, a little thing for my daughter, Teddy Rose. Oh, Aww. Teddy. Yeah, there is a wonderful uh, ring that my wife got <sighs> me for for one of the. I think it was the anniversaries. Um, yeah, that's it. You're a legend. Just man. imagine how much money you could get for that orange peel. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know what he moved off the desk. Yeah, That's yeah, all I yeah. want to know. <laughs> well, like, yeah. yeah. yeah it, well, well, you know, it was it was not nothing to do with sexy times in any way. It'll be in the biopic. We'll just, It'll be in the biopic. We'll leave it. We'll leave it for to Reddit to decide what was by the bed. <laughs> we love Reddit. Uh, again, the one, the only, Robbie Williams. Yeah!